hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to draft a princess that's bustier so i'm just doing my basic bodies pattern if you don't know how to draw a basic but how to draft a basic bodies pattern you can just follow my process so firstly i'm drawing out my shoulder line that is what i'm currently doing so after my shoulder line i'll be taking my horizontal measurements that is my shoulder to bust i'll take my shoulder to under bust my shoulder to waist i'm making this video as beginner friendly as possible that is why i'm not fast forwarding any part i'm just leaving it slow so you follow it to be able to follow it well so i'm just currently taking my shoulder i mean the shoulder to bust on my paper then i'm going to just rule my horizontal line and this line i'm ruling is my bust line or is the bust line because it's not mine but it's the bust line thereafter i'm taking my shoulder i'm taking the shoulder to under bust which is 15 inches shoulder to under bust under bust is just like under your where your bra where the bra iron is you know the iron that's always on the bra where it stops so you can just take your measurement the measurement of your under bust there from your shoulder to that point so after this we're going to take our shoulder to waist measurement shoulders to waist so shoulder to waist here is 20 inches So sorry you cannot see the shoulder to waist i'm going to adjust that later in this video so i'm just really my horizontal line now so i'm just going to label it this is my shoulder my bust not my butt <laughs> first measurement i'm using under bust waist the shoulder measurement i'm using is 16 inches so 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches and i'll be using 3.75 for my neck width and neck depth so that's just what i'm ruling out now 3.75 thereafter i'm going to use my curve driller to curve it out so if you don't know how to draw a basic body pattern you can just follow this process So now you're going to come down your shoulder line by one inch and connect that line to your neck to the neckline point like the point 3.75 point to the one inch i hope you understand what i'm saying so now i'm going to get my ammo measurements to get your ammo measurements you do um your bust divided by six plus 1.5 mine is 8.8 and then plus the one inch that i took from the shoulder that's nine so that's 9.8 and i just approximated it to 10 inches so that's why i'm ruling out 10 inches so you just mark it out from in order to have a straight line then on your um chest line the new line you draw you're going to measure your shoulder measurement so here i'm just making sure my line is straight because it wasn't looking straight so i'm just remeasuring my 10 inches to make sure my line is as straight as possible so now i'll be taking my shoulder measurement on this my new chest line my ammo line so my my um shoulder is eight so i'm just taking eight inches also on that line thereafter i'm going to divide this line into two so now I divided by two that's 4.5 then you go in by half an inch. Then you're going to use a curved ruler to curve it out. You go in by half an inch at the middle point of the of the ammo. So 
So now I'll be taking my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement here is 4.5. So I'm just taking it's actually 9. So 9 divided by 4 is 4.5. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking 4.5 on the bust, on the under bust, and on the waist. So I'm just going to roll it up. So after doing that, I'll be taking my dart. So I'm taking 0 0.75 for my dart intake. Then I'm just going to really it up to my bust line. So the next thing to do is to take um, 0 0.5 from your under bust measurement. I took 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 respectively. So I'm just going to curve it into my bust points. So now you're going to connect your line to the waist. So from the bust point, we are going to connect a line to the middle part of our sleeve. You know we divided it into two to get the curve. So we are going to connect it to that line, to that dot. Then we are going to come down by one inch from the middle point of our sleeves and connect the line to the bust point. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So from the middle point of the sleeve to the bust point, we are just going to connect it and roll the line out straight, just like I am doing in the video. They are going to bring out an extra one inch because in the process of joining everything we're going to fall short of fabric so that one inch is just to make everything connect together at the end of the day so that's just what i've done here so now we're going to like take our horizontal measurement my bust is the bust the bust i'm using is 44 inches 44 inches divided by 4 is 11 and i'm adding 1.5 allowance on my pattern after i'm going to divide the waist also by four inches plus the 1.5 that we took on the dart so that's just what i'm currently doing so here what happened here is i divided the waist which is 42 inches by four 42 inches divided by four is 10.5 plus my dart allowance 1.5 which is 12 inches 12 inches plus another 1.5 inches for sewing allowance is what is on my waist. That's why it's slanted because my waist is, the waist I'm using is more than the bust. So just leave it like that if this is how your pattern is looking. You're not making any mistake. Just leave it like this. And I, the line I cancelled out was a mistake. So just overlook that. Okay, so now I want to do my bust that I'm coming down by two inches i'm going to rule it to my bust point why i'm coming down by two inches is because the difference between my between the shoulder to waist i'm using and shoulder to waist at the back i'm using is two inches so that's why my bust my bust that is two inches so your bust that gives the bodies a more um gives the body more shape and more fitting so I think I'll just recommend you always doing your bust that. So I'm just adding one inch allowance at the bottom of my pattern and ruling it, ruling it out. After this, I'm cutting my pattern out. And if you notice, I'm not cutting on where I've drawn. I'm just cutting just to bring it out of the paper because I want to fold in my bust that. So now you're just going to fold in your bust that and make sure you're folding it well. And use a cello tape to cello tape it. Then I'm going to redraw my line from my my chest line to my waist because it's not together anymore. They're already separated because of the bust that I folded in. So now I'm just ruling ruling it back. So you can just follow this process if you don't understand what I'm saying. Just follow the process. Just watch the video. So I'm just cutting my pattern. I think we should all know how to cut our patterns. And be careful of this part too. So just cut it slowly. 
so this is how my front is looking like now so let's go to our back so i'm just really my zip allowance that's just one inch and i'm taking the normal measure on shoulder bust line and i'm just redrawing redrafting my back pattern so those lines that i'm drawing are just my neckline and that's just my shoulder line so i'm coming down by one inch also and i'm going to draw the line back to my shoulders so this is just the usual basic bodies for the back that i'm doing here so those lines are the bust and the waistline mind you the waistline i'm using here is one inch i mean two inches lesser than the front shoulder to waist because my bust if you notice my bust um my bust that was two inches so when i fold it in it will be accurate to my back so basically that's just one of the importance of a bust that so that you even it will even prevent the back bulge so this is just me doing my back that i use 0 0.75 at both sides and i'm going to trace it up Okay, so now I'm drawing my arm um, hole line. So I'm just putting the 10 inches. So this is 10 inches. We all know how we got our, the 10 inches. is the bus divided by 6 plus 1.5. And I just approximated to the nearest number. So it's 10 inches. So now you look for the middle point of the sleeve line. Sleeve line for the arm hole line, I mean. And you connect it down to the dart line. Just how I'm drawing now. Because I want a princess cut for the back also. So this is just how it's going. I'm just putting in my measurement and adding my half inch sewing allowance. So I'm just putting in the vertical measurement and adding half inch sewing allowance. So I roll it, roll it, roll it. And I'm joining my lines. So in order to prevent Boarding at the back also i'm going up by half an inch and i'm going in also by half an inch and i'll rule it with my neck from the zip line on my neck i mean from my neck down to my waist on the zip line and also on my waistline so i'm just cutting out my pattern So please be careful when you're cutting out your pattern so and i'm cutting i'm not cutting exactly on my shoulder line because i'm just leaving that half an inch for the allowance when i'm joining my shoulders so i'm just trimming out the half an inch i took out trimming them out and i didn't i didn't put um allowance here under my pattern but i'll be doing that on the fabric so don't forget your allowance under the pattern so this is the final look of the pattern and i'm just going to show you how it is looking like now this is how it looks like when i joined it i put wording for the bust to make the bust add and for it to stand firm so this is just how it's looking like